Oh my gosh, guys. You know what? This is Janine with Pathfinders Downsizing Solutions. And today is National Senior Citizens Day. And I was thinking to myself, hmm, do I know a crazy senior citizen? Yes, ladies There's and gentlemen. Right here. I <laughs> and so yeah. I want to introduce you to Gary Worthley. He's like a long, long time friend, and he's so goofy and weird. And I love him. Anyway, don't tell anybody, but I love because <laughs> he picks on me all the time. Gary, how are you doing, man? Good, and it's good that you called me because I am a PhD in old age. Oh, so, are you? Uh, oh, yes, yes. Okay. And my social security number is 001. But, you know, so, but what is <laughs> probing <laughs> questions do you have for me? I wanted to ask you a couple of things. Um, I, you know, it's like you're such a plethora of information. You're so wise. Your wisdom, it just oozes. Don't every... stop. Keep going. There's more. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to ask you, what is, so what did you do for a living? I, when I got out of school, all the training and stuff, I went into the corporate world in sales, uh, then sales training, and then sales management. Uh, worked with such companies as Mobile Oil uh, and uh, uh, Duracell Battery and Johnson & Johnson and part of uh, uh, Newell companies, the, the Newell uh, rubber set it's known as now in uh, management. And then in 85, I moved to Florida to have my own business uh, in the manufacturer's rep which is another name for commission sales agents. And we represented several uh, companies in the greater hardware electrical paint field, uh, selling to distributors and chains and stuff like that. I was doing that in 85 till we retired about seven years ago. Uh, so that, go ahead. Did you like it? Very much so. Very much so. Uh, I think uh, people ought to find what they're happy doing. And if they aren't happy, the money doesn't matter uh, because you'll be miserable and, and you're only here once. Uh, so. Oh, that sounds thought, like a little wisdom. Yeah, very little for me, but uh, <laughs> still, uh, it's, you know, enjoy life hopefully do a little good too hopefully it'll do a little good if you can but I remember, I, re I remember that you were a guardian at ad litem one time for a little bit you and annie your my, my wife and i yeah who uh, we've just is had, a saint I mean, by the, the way 30 years what's that annie, i said annie who is a saint by the way because she's married to you <laughs> yeah we did it for 10 years that's and, awesome. and, and then uh, it was, they wanted to go into a whole lot of uh, uh, handling on the internet and everything with reports and everything else. And that's not my cup of tea, as you well know tonight. Uh, and so, <laughs> uh, 20 we, minutes uh, to get on this little, little uh, double screen. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm only five degrees from adding up on a paper bag. And when I want to call, I ring central. Come on, give me a break. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. So, okay. So tell me, here's another, here's a, I was trying to think of some interesting questions for you. What do you think, what is one thing that nobody knows about you? Tell me your secret. Well, for a couple of years, I was a hitman for the CIA, but I really didn't want it to get out. Well, it's out now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know as there is really much that people don't know about me. Uh, he is pretty wide uh, open, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, what you see is what you get, and I'm not afraid to say it. Uh, it's better to get rid of it and sleep at night than keep it in and not sleep. Uh, I guess probably uh, most people wouldn't realize I... I love history, always have, have a lot of books on it. And uh, I don't discuss it much, but uh, 
uh, I enjoyed that very much. Very cool. Very. Did you meet anybody famous? Mm, like no. You, you know, like no. You know, but politicians, but they're not famous. <laughs> Most of them are infamous. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Who would you want to meet? Who would you want to meet? Gary, if you had to sit down, maybe have dinner or make a long dinner, or maybe you wanted to have a beer, who would you want to have a beer with? Wow. Well, there's, uh, you know, there's a difference between having just a, a fun dinner or going to, to learn some things. Uh, I guess, I guess if I could uh, see some things that I'd like, I would like to have been around in the founding of this country back in 1775, six, seven, eight, and up until 1780. I, uh, I thought you were. No, no, I came in in the war of 1812. Oh. Don't you remember we just got out of school together? So yeah, that would be it. Uh, uh, I would probably be more attracted to uh, political or, or military uh, people to sit down and have a chat with. And uh, although he doesn't represent my, uh, my political philosophy, I'm sure that Bill Clinton would be a great fun time to sit down at dinner and have dinner with him because he's pretty knowledgeable. We yeah. wouldn't discuss politics too much, I don't think, but, but that's, uh, so I would what? You can discuss women. <laughs> <laughs> I forget that. It's, uh, <laughs> okay, so if you had one piece of advice, just to kind of like wrap up, if you had one piece of advice you wanted to, before we started, you were talking with um, Peyton, my son, here a little bit. He popped on and, and saw you and, and uh, kind of reminisced over old times. You guys have had a lot of adventures together and stuff. If you had one piece of advice to give your 20-year-old self, what would it be? Um, do what your heart tells you to do and stick with it and enjoy it. And if and when that time comes that you get married, never go to bed at night without kissing your wife goodnight and never leave in the morning uh, without kissing her goodbye. Because you don't have to be my age to know, you don't know when one day all of a sudden it wouldn't be there. That's a good, that's a good piece of advice. Clearly you've given that to my husband because that's our rule too. So anyway. <clears throat> Will you do me a, a favor? Yes. Cool. Okay, I want you to give your sweet Annie a big old hug for me. Because <clears throat> I miss, with quarantine and everything, I miss seeing her. I miss seeing you. I don't really want to admit it, but I do miss seeing you too. <laughs> well, I, uh, <laughs> I will give, I'll give her a hug, but I can only do it six feet away. And uh, she... She's <laughs> mine. <laughs> <laughs> She's giving me bad words. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Gary. Thank you for, for letting me interview you. And um, I appreciate you. Love you, man. Good. Same here. And good luck with all of the good works that you've been doing, Janine. Good job. Pretty. All right. Talk to you soon. You got it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.